welcome in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's G using R studio Cohen's G is an effect size measure that can be used if you have uh, one sample binomial uh, test and you only have two categories and each you assume each of those categories was 50% so to do this I'll be using a small example file so and that's an SPSS file so I need to use a library and I'll be using library foreign I already installed it and then actually store my data um, from this SPSS file that's uh, called student statistics load this all in don't worry about those errors and that's all fine and then um, since I'm only interested in one variable uh, I'll be storing that one variable under my var and I don't need any missing values so na omit and then the variable of interest was the gen uh, underscore gender so that was for uh, gen was short for generic it was a generic variable um, then the table uh, of that variable can be useful so I'm going to store that under freak from frequencies and prop for proportions which is that frequency table but then each value divided by the sum of all those frequencies so I get actually the proportions and last but not least we can uh, immediately calculate Cohen's G which is actually um, the proportion minus 0 0.5 we can tell it which one we want so I only want the first one uh, unnamed because I don't need the name to go with it and I'm gonna store that under a variable called going G uh, I can already see here on the upper right that that's gonna be minus 0 0.24 roughly and I can also just print it control enter and now it shows in my console minus 0 0.24 uh, 23.91 uh, but roughly minus 0 0.24 that means that uh, each of the categories was uh, 20 uh, 0.24 above or below the 0 0.5. And that was it. That's Cohen's G. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like to find out more about this, uh, please check my website. It's mentioned in the description below. Thank you for watching.